whatever I'm thinking to myself I need a light on me but I honestly am recording this on the way I'm in. I don't know if you can hear it I don't know anything so I'm just gonna record the thoughts I'm having right now um I was thinking about I was going over this last relationship that I was in with this Aries guy Aries Leo Leo that's his sun rising and moon so that's his energy his Venus was in Aquarius I think it was one of those things one of those signs that usually I, when I pull the charts of the guys that I date they usually have a Venus in Aquarius or Gemini or Leo like very like quirky passionate you know like it's usually like those type of people like it's I noticed that a lot of guys that I've dated and I've like told a lot of charts of people who like me just men and it's always a Venus and Aquarius and it's like you like my weird my weird self that's what it is <laughs> you like weird women um so this guy I said to myself we broke up because he couldn't transmute his emotions. He couldn't take the feelings that he felt for me in that immediate moment, like anger or hatred, annoyance or you know, just like upsetness. He couldn't take that feeling and take us to the next level because once you feel that feeling, that's like baseline. That's like on the other side of the scale. You get to this point, you have to be able to say, What's the next highest feeling that I can feel coming out of this anger and hatred? Because I felt the same way. I'm like, Oh, this guy is mad annoying. He's pissing me off. It was like that. Like, I was getting mad at talking to him on the phone and texting and I'm like you're annoying me and he would just be like you know like you know but I'm just trying to tell you he's just he trying to tell me how he feels how he feels it was just like some real airy shit okay it was so heavy and so destructive to myself like it was destroying like insides my heart because I really did not want that to happen with this person. But it happened. And so. Um, he couldn't transmute those emotions. So after you feel that hatred and that anger for something or someone. Next comes this feeling. You move into these feelings of like. You know what? This person is who this person is. Number one. This person has a whole biology cos cosmology a whole emotionality built structure foundation building history built around this one specific person they are an individual and they sell themselves they are their own person they have their own quirks they are their own galaxies I accept this person as they are and I look at my emotions too and I say where am I because I had got to a point in the relationship where I wasn't as passionate for this person anymore but I said to myself I want to choose them because I like them so you know what maybe let's move this our emotions into a realm of friendship build a friendship it makes you think about the movie Inside Out with her emotions and her memories I should say and those were her emotions too they had their core homes and so throughout the movie when she was losing herself those core homes family friendship fun you know uh, hobbies or something like those core homes were destroyed and it was like monuments being broken down stone being shattered that's what that is those hubs I wanted to build another hub with this person. That's love. That's relationship to me. I've been manifesting long-lasting love. 
long lasting love how do you make something long lasting you practice it you study it you, you work with it you have a you build a relationship with it make it long lasting you give it a foundation you give it a beautiful structure a beautiful makeup a beautiful dna so that it can last so that it's real so that it's you know in fortitude and power I tried to do that with him when I said I wanted to just, you know, okay, let's just dial it back and be friends. And he could not see that. And so it didn't work because he couldn't transmute his feelings. Oh, I felt this anger, but I hear what she's saying. And I feel it. He wasn't feeling himself. But also, if he wants to talk about it being about astrology, he was an Aries Leo Leo. So, um, no. <laughs> That was a prime, perfect example of an Aries Leo Leo. The Venus in Aquarius, because even though the Venus in Aquarius likes the quirky girl, their type of love language is annoying to me. The the quirky girl, or maybe the Cancer quirky girl, I don't know. Because they don't, they're really like goofy in love. They are goofy people. So goofy to me. I have this OG lover, my favorite. He's an Aquarius. And his moon and rising is Capricorn. And his Venus is in Aquarius. So you tell me. <laughs> you tell me. And where does that equal simple love? And our love is not simple. He makes it so complicated. And I feel it. Because he loves me so much. And it irritates me. Like these are the things that's like. When you have feelings about something and you have it in your gut that you know the answer because you always know the answer to your shit, no matter what you say. Even you, it could be foggy, you might be like, I can't see it, but it's there. It will come up. And I always know the truth about everything. And it's outstanding to me. Because I cannot believe that my brain and my emotionality can do that. But that's like a... I feel like I went through the 5G. 5G, 5D, super hyper, 2020, pandemic, portal, motherhood. At the same time, my mind is not the same. Shit's crazy. <laughs> And I love it. And I'm experiencing life at its best because of it. And so, because I've gotten to this place in time, I've manifested a perfect man. And I'm not going to talk about him because right now I'm talking about the past. And I'm digging out any old tethers. And I, sometimes I do that and I need to do that. But he is a cancer and his moon is his moon is in Capricorn and his rising is Leo and his Venus is in Leo and my Venus is in Leo and I'm a Cancer and I'm a rising Gemini and a moon in Sagittarius that man fits me so well. Mm, I love it. But, okay. So, transmuting emotions. <laughs> you need to be able to look at the one emotion that you're experiencing. Being able to say, how can I move up the scale? How can I move to this point up here? How can I create a tether between these two? Look like that. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> so 
it can look like that. That's like a fucking, you do some shit like this, and you're making DNA at this point, where you, you know, telling a fucking story or some shit, you know? Like, keep it going, keep it going. Wow. Just crazy. Take the motion, move it forward, move it up. That makes me think about this picture that I did. I tried to print it out, but we don't have any more ink, so I had to draw it. Ten minutes in, and I realize that I can turn, and the light is right behind me. How it looks like what it looks like. Ah. Ah. Drew this. This says upward spiral and downward spiral. So it's associated with the chakras and emotions, emotionality. So let's start downward where I'm like. The anger that you're feeling is down here. Your fear, your grief, your depression, your jealousy, insecurity, victimhood, revenge, hatred, rage, anger. Th this is down here. You want to take that feeling and you want to go up. You want to move into disappointment and just simple frustration and pessimism and a little boredom. And around here you start to realize, mm, I have more control over my life than I actually thought. <laughs> You're sitting now. You're sitting and you're thinking now. You're, you're, you're not as hot. You're cooling off. And you move into your contentment and your hopefulness. And you know, you're moving that initial feeling of anger towards a situation, towards a person. And you're transmuting it. And pulling it up. <laughs> and moving it into divine upward thinking and ascension. This is why... Ascensions is as important as descensions, and descensions are as important as ascensions. You need them both, right? That shit was legit, because it's true, and he couldn't do that, and so the relationship was ruined. And that's all the thought that I had. <laughs> and it just makes you appreciate, like knowing that and knowing it's like you know what it is what it is like I'm okay with how it ended and I wish that it ended differently but even when I think about this person or you know this person has hit me up a couple times in the last few months so their energy still lingers and so you're like you know like are you ready and say like, no because I know what it has to be said. I know what has to be said for me to look at this person and say, you have changed. And it happens sometimes. Sometimes people change. They evolve, I should say. Um, so, um, I don't feel that from that person. And that's okay. I don't want that person anyway. But you know, you think about these things. I'm actually thinking now I need to know a couple more people's moon and rising. So I gotta love to know someone's chart. It just makes you reading birth charts and just looking at them because I'm learning how to read them. Um, you know, just reading like the placements and like what the, the cosmos was doing during your birth. Like in my Aquarius, Capricorn, Capricorn, OG lover. I love him so much. He's like 
he's always going to be the one and even if I'm with someone else you know and I manifest the relationships and you know growth with someone else he's always going to be that guy you know um his try during his birth I think the the comment is called um, Chiron or what's another way it might be pronounced Chiron Chiron or Chiron I like Chiron but it's like Chicago oh Chicago okay so Chiron it's a com it's like a comet it's like a mythical com cosmic energy I looked it up and it's like a horse slash man it's called a centaur I think that's what that's called that's what that that's what he is he's like that energy he's like that um abandoned child he's that uh he has to work on finding his love again and healing his heart and just like going through like personal journey that's his energy and so my aquarius capricorn capricorns chiron is in cancer and retrograde <laughs> like that felt like I felt that when I looked at the chart and I saw that I felt that in my chest I felt it I'm like this this is exactly why and see, this is why it's important this is a, a, what was birthed from knowing charts and like re being able to read people because even I'm just started reading charts just recently like I got into astrology but I just started getting into just looking at charts like in this season like spring summer um of 2020 so it's really new to me but i've always been there reading people so when you get to read people you kind of remove a lot of the like the labels that we've created and like the expectations that we think we're supposed to have for people and you kind of like come into your own energy and so it's like i understand why certain things don't work the way they do for anything and everything like it all works in the energetic fields that it's supposed to work and if it don't it just don't because there's some jobs that i've had that you've had that it was just like mm, it's not working an idea a relationship a dish of food that you're cooking it's just not working like and that's fine but that's how i feel about him i'm like that's the reason why I mean his romantic relationship never got anywhere. And that was my expectation because the way that he loves me, it shows through his Venus and Aquarius and his Moon and Capricorn and his Chiron. I feel like I'm saying it wrong, but I'm going to keep saying it like that anyway. Chiron in Cancer and Retrograde. Like, your heart is broken. <laughs> and this is the lifetime that you live. But I'm going to love you anyway. That's how I am. Like, my cancer with his moon and cap. That works. The Aquarius with the moon and cap. My mom is a Taurus with her moon and Capricorn. And she is so fucking rough. <laughs> and just like a fucking like last time I seen her cry was probably like years ago like years ago so I'm a crier my kids are gonna see me cry all the time my mama's not a crier it's that moon and cap that makes you like a rock like solid like just sturdy but then your son is like the Aquarius makes him so quirky and so weird in himself and so like just like so insecure and so like flighty and so deep and the, the moon and, with the Taurus moon and cap with the Taurus makes them like she's just like a brick house through and through like cancer with his moon and cap makes him a logical romantic lover and that is divine because I'm the same way 
my logic exists in the metaphysical, but it's still a very strong logic. It's me. And I have accepted people and I love people unconditionally and I've mastered the essence of unconditional love. So for a man to have a logical, mature sense of passionate love, that to me is like perfect partner. And then his Leo, his Venus and Leo, my Venus is Leo, and I like Venus and Leo energy. Like I'm like, if I want, if I want to be with someone, I want them to have Venus and Leo, Venus and Venus Aries is gonna be too strong. Venus and Sag is gonna be too flighty. That Venus and Leo is like perfect. Maybe Venus and Scorpio or Cancer. Something that's like me that I can understand clearly but that Venus Leo like I love my Venus Leo I'm just like passionate as motherfucker yo and I just love love I love to love and that's just exciting to me heartbreak is exciting to me falling love is exciting to me I love it all so mmm there's a glare coming off my picture frame that usually is an angel I see a few of them there so every so often that's good because I've been waiting I've been so like <laughs> and I'm glad that it's coming like that um that Venus and Leo like that man he fits me he's so perfect for me right now like and I say right now because in this moment I don't know if it's gonna be anything more I don't know what's gonna happen between us I know what I want I don't know. And so like right now is all I got. And right now I'm like, yo, that man is just so perfect. Like he don't even know. He don't even know. It's important for me to know the moon sign. Like I have a couple people that I want to ask now. are mad big I got this one crib because I'm like I don't got no space for no other crib we fit in here like just so snug and perfect but they mad big oh my gosh they're bigger than what I anticipated I'm about to do a reading for me and my cancer lover so do you want to do it with me Since I got this tripod going on, I can definitely set it up so you can look at me do it. I don't know how much time I have left to record, so if it cuts, it cuts out. It needs to be in the I can't do. I can't do it. You know, I'll just move. You a shitty bitch. Can I turn it around? Oh, I thought it fell on the floor. Can I swim in here? Oh, yes, okay. Oh, we're doing good. You can just see the essence and I'll show you what is what. Um, over time. Can you see me? Can you see me? Let me zoom out first.
Alright. I guess you don't have to see me. So I do my videos with the baby. The baby. Sign language. The baby facts. When I open it up to, I'll talk a little bit about it without saying too much. I want to know what I need to know. Uh, where is his heart? In his mind. Where is my heart? My giving words for that. This is a positive thing. This is a progressive, evolving, elevating thing. Love, relation, relationship. Or is this you know, something to leave? This is safe. This is honest. This is from the divine. What am I missing? What do I need to know? Angels always first. upside down so sometimes I don't really I'm gonna leave it to leave it. This one is second. So that one was angel. That was was more towards um the original tarot with like page of earth. <laughs> Please see it. back up a little bit page of earth the news about financial matters wants to do something more challenging a new area of study queen of air objective decision making clearing away all that no longer serves you seeing the humor in the situation and three of fire this one is upside down and this one is abundance things are very good have patience at this time, make long term plans. It was upside down. And that creeps me out sometimes. And sometimes I don't listen to it, so I'm kind of like, let me see what the rest of the reading says, and then I will decide. Is this what's recorded? Yeah. This one is chakra healing, planetary, and chakras, and zodiac. Detective Scorpio 
transformation Pluto and self-expression throat chakra so that is definitely going to be annoying because I fucking saw this already okay damn and I almost forgot about it and the universe is like don't forget about it honey <laughs> and this is the uh, divine mother so it's kind of like spiritual uh, high frequency speak talk meditation you know divine feminine mother energy I love this deck it makes a beautiful story I'm going to show you right now I'm tripping out right now. I'll take this after. <laughs> when um, they say that you need to look at yourself in the mirror, doing a reading will have you looking in a fucking mirror. Okay. So. I'm just going to read it <laughs> how I'd like to and please I hope that I can keep up with the how I'm going but just bear with me the last deck I got Our Lady of Rose Child Our Lady of Ocean Re of the Ocean Rebirth and Our Lady of Sweet Rest so what I am getting is that there's going to be, because this three of fire was upside down and it's simple abundance, things look very good, have patience at this time, make long-term plans, because it was upside down, this is a part of the destiny in the sense that this whole relationship with this person is very transformative because it's challenging you. This is the second reading I did where it said that the last reading said that we were going to have like a some type of conflict and it happened like i think this that night it was around the same the same time and it wasn't really a conflict it was kind of like a resistance and a rebelling against genuine feeling i felt it coming from this person and so today i said the last couple of days i said we i feel like some type of fight is coming but not like we don't fight like we just the last time something like this kind of happened um we just talked about how we felt you know so but they, these two the detective the Scorpio and the three of fire upside down that three of fire is kind of like it's like it's three it's sweet it's sociable it's gemini it's you know the trinity it's divine pure source like it's sweet and it's genuinely positive and even if the detective card comes off to me so powerful and strong and and deep and passion passionate that detective but that Scorpio, the detective is telling you to like, kind of like, go deep. Like the Scorpio will go deep. Scorpios know more about you than you know about yourself. They you know more about a lot of things than you know about a lot of things. <laughs> They're deep people and they see. Like if you thought a Cancer was intuitive, a Scorpio is so intuitive. They don't know what to do with it. Like it's like they know truths that they shouldn't know. And so... You know, like, this is going to be, like, a little bit of conflict here. Like, the page of earth, the queen of air. This feels like me and him. It does. He comes off to me like the most sweetest boy. This one. He's a grown man. Don't get me wrong. But he comes off to me so sweet and just so happy and joyous. And so, like, 
one time I was going to go see him and I got off the train I'm walking down the block and I see a playing card it was a jack of hearts <laughs> and you know like that's crazy and I'm a jack of hearts and the first thing I thought about was him like this like noble boy this smart boy this loving boy I see that in him you can if you look deep enough you can see the little kid inside the person that you're looking at anybody the little girl little boy anybody that you're talking to you can see a little kid inside of them but I see his and I love it because it makes me feel like high school love you know and this is me this is always me every time I do a reading and it's about me I get this card somewhere it's like he's talking about you and I'm at a crossroads right now trying to decide I am looking into my spiritual self. New area of study. I'm definitely doing that. And I feel like he's a part of it. I feel like the love that he has given me is a part of it. Because I've never experienced this love before. That's just the bottom line. And so I'm like, okay, this is going to change my life. <laughs> um, Self-expression. Throat chakra. I was studying the root chakra. Throat chakra was someone that today to my client. Not too long ago. That throw chakra energy is like say what you feel. And that's probably what this is gonna be. What's gonna happen? Wait, I got a message just now. I said something, but the time is still going. Oh, I got one percent, girl don't even do that <laughs> child that would have been oh my god the video stopped recording died my phone died all right what i got from this reading is that um there's going to be a fight coming in a way that we must learn how to speak to each other again the sweet rest feels like something the relationship with this person was what I'm getting from this reading is that I'm subconsciously asking this reading is he the one is he the one and this reading is beyond that point this reading is saying he is the one and this is what's coming next. Like, get over the fact that you're asking if he's the one or not. Just ex admit and accept that he's the one. We do that a lot. We we like to feel like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Who's that I don't know? What voice is that inside of you saying I don't know? That little kid that's so afraid. That's a little nervous, you know? That might be very heartbroken very traumatized very victimed any level of child that you are at you know what you experience as a child and what you've brought over into your adulthood from your childhood mm. so that's the relationship this is what's coming and I'm accepting that he's the one Anybody could be the one. Anybody could be the one. As if you actively choose. And that's how I know I like someone. Because I've had guys around. I'm a dater. I like to date. I like to meet new people. Um, I like to connect through love energies. So I date. Let's get I watched this snippet of the first video and let me tell you that AC is wild my friend so I wish you well on your listening journey with me.
Who was gonna say? Let's doubt the inner child telling you, no, I don't know. I don't think that you deserve that. No, I don't know. I don't think that that's, he's the one. No, I don't know. I don't think she, when I choose you, and that's the act of love, is waking up every day and saying to yourself, I'm choosing this person because I like them, because I love them, and I want to keep them here with me and I want to love them properly and I want to be there with them in this life I want to experience life with them that's actively choosing someone and so when you meet the person that you want to do that with they're the one just accept it and work at building relationships and stop I wouldn't say stop situationships because if someone who was a little bit of a low vibrational thinker would call the relationships that I have situationships um but their relationships with people um and you learn yourself through them and so there's no shame in dating people and just loving them and accepting the heartache and learning how to transmute you know when people are just like, I have no energy for it. And it's like, you have no energy for love. <laughs> like, what? That doesn't even sound right. You sound crazy. It sounds crazy. Um, what else am I getting from this reading? I see her hair looks like water. Here. That orange and that blue, they're contrasting, but they're complementary. There's a little fire down there. That, that looks like the, the conflict, but it's, it just seems so small. It's just like, dig deep in yourself. self-expression these are things that you do next you self-express and so you will birth I also said to myself, I'm like, I'm not having no more kids. I have a boy and a girl to the twins at the same time. Both of them, a boy and a girl, all the genders. All the biological genders. And one more's running, I'm gonna get another girl, another boy. But there's a family. I wouldn't call it a curse, I would just call it a magic <laughs> where all the odds on my mom my mom's side my maternal side um have two girls one boy majority of them maybe like one or two don't and i'm trying to figure out why but two girls one boy a lot of us have two girls one boy who have a number of children my brother has two girls one boy my mom has two girls, one boy. My aunt Donna had two girls, one boy. Who else had two girls, one boy? So many instances. And so, it's like, if I have another child, it'll be a girl. I feel it. And it, I'm thinking, like, is this a person that I can have this child with? Will I get married? Because I said to myself, I want to experience that. What does that look like to me? Digging deep. Scorpio detective. Transmute transformation. Pluto. That dark energy. That deep Scorpio Pluto. Mm. Throw chakra. It's going to get really sticky with me and this man. 
and and it has the potential to ego really good or really bad that's just for everything and so I'm wonder is self-expression throat chakra the card that's going to tell me that's what needs to be done for it to be honored and respected the way it deserves to be self-expression say what you have to say stand up for what you believe in and so when you do that that's when this comes about the three of fire that was upside down now it's forward now it's abundance now it's things look very good now it's have patience at this time now it's make long-term plans I never make long-term plans with a guy. I mean, my twins, but... That was God, so... We don't question those things. But, like, with this guy, I'm like... I do kind of feel like our... Paths might be a little different when it comes to what we want to do in the next phase of our abundance. What we're working towards individually. I don't know how it, it doesn't feel cut like it can be collective. But it does. And I think it looks like it can be a collective dream. If I finally fully accept the way that I like to date. And I feel like that's been my issue for a very long time. (laughs) Because I always say that. I'm always like, I say I want something and don't want it. I want something else. So like I would say for so long, I just can't with relationships. I can't with the concept of marriage. I don't want to do it. I I want, don't want to live with someone. I want to live in my own house. I just want to be by myself. I want to have a lot of lovers. And then the other part of me is like, but that commitment is like a one in that strong partnership, that black love, that you know something that you cultivate, that you grow together, that you live together and die together. You know. There's not that many guys that I would do that with. It shouldn't be that many. And it's not that many. But I look at this guy, my cancer. When I'm doing a reading about my cancer, Capricorn Leo, his big three, is he someone that I can do that with? And so that said, digging deep, Scorpio, transformation. Pluto energy of trying to figure out because of these these two cards at the bottom right here they're holding babies and that's why I brought the baby because I'm like in the physical realm if I was to have one more child to fulfill the family magic could it be with him and in the metaphysical realms The concept of a baby, a child, is abundance. The the essence behind a child is abundance, is inner working of your feminine and your masculine. Mm -hmm. Your light side and your dark side. Mm -hmm. The sweet child. And the child that is submerged beneath the ocean's surface, drowning and dying and living, traveling deep within. Okay. Dreams. This looks, this looks like dreams. Because look, this one don't have that border. This one does. Reminds me of Neptune dreams some weird cosmic shit like a um uranus or saturn or some crazy shit out there <laughs> this one don't have it either this one is kind of like i feel like at the end of it we're still gonna be at a, at odds um and i think it's gonna be because of me 
And I think that is necessary that we are, we end up here because this needs to happen in order for this to happen. You understand what I'm saying? Like, even though this is like the end, it's the beginning because in order for this to happen, this has to happen. Transformation, this has to happen. In order for this to happen, this has to happen. In order for this to happen, this has to happen. Like, it's all connected. And so, damn. Why her gummy broke? This is not allow it to be. Relationships are, I always have to remind myself, and I like to always say this, they take a lot of time to grow and to build. That's why it's important to be able to move across all of the big, major, core, you know, I mentioned that before, those core foundation pillars, you know? Of the self, the family, the friends. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna study that movie and find out what they are in some way, somehow, talk about it some more. But like, that shit is important as fuck. Like, you have to build all of them in the relationship. It's like building a person, it's like building an energy f- field and force. You have to be able to get to know someone and to stick by them and to be committed to them and to not give up. To show them that you won't give up. Because people give up, we give up. We give up. We give up so easily. I mean, this this is just a new age. Like, you know, when you think about it, sometimes it's not necessarily giving up, but kind of just like keep working towards the higher self. But sometimes we do it in the wrong spaces. Sometimes we have to like stay. And it's building that discernment to, to know when to say when to leave. How do I know to stay with this person and not just to leave? Just because, you know, I see a little conflict. What makes you say to stay? I say because this person's worthwhile. It's a good person. It's important to be able to read character. He's a good person. He's a good father figure. Good father. He's a hard worker. He's honest. Mm-hmm. He's hilarious. What makes him funny? What part of his chart makes him funny? His Mercury and Gemini. Yo. When I say that man is so witty, he has something to say for everything and it's always funny as fuck. And I'm like, that Mercury and Gemini is sitting so pretty in your chart. Like... Oh my god, he be having me crying laughing about mad dumb stuff. And it's like somewhere, I think it's probably my rising in Gemini. And my Sag, my moon and Sag, it's kind of like, I get your sense of humor. I have the same sense of humor, like it's mad weird. And nobody thinks that half the things that I think is funny is funny. (laughs) And I think I'm mad funny. But I see you and I understand like, that's another reason why it's like I'm connected to this person in a funny way. When I first met him, I was like, I know you before. I met you before. I know you. Welcome back. <laughs> I was waiting for you at the zoo. <laughs> you remember that meme? From this, um, let me stop recording this one because I'm recording that fucking video. Um, and he was like, when you've been waiting for your soulmate and they finally show up, and it's the guy, was, he's just like a woman outside the bus. And he's like, what did he say? I don't know what he said. He's just like, I've been waiting for you. Like, 
And you just enjoy it for what it is in the moment. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a reading for my career next. What time is it? <laughs> Doesn't even matter. I'm going to do a reading for my career. And then I'm going to close up. But I appreciated that. That was a good time. I definitely need to figure out how to do this. Also, I need to charge my phone. Okay, my phone is always dying. It died. It was a 1%. I'm in the house. How does your phone die in the house? I don't know. Whatever. Maybe I'll post this. Maybe I won't. But I definitely did enjoy this a lot. And I think that I did want to open doors to my YouTube again. It's just difficult. You know, I'm always, I'm looking over here like, am I being too loud? But they know my voice. I'm loud. I'm just loud. And I'm just like, you know, like, do I want to do this again? I love doing YouTube. But we'll see. We'll see how I feel in the future of life <laughs> after recording this. Oh, that's crazy. That there is a future in some way. There is a future that can happen. I can die. And that's a possibility. But I can also go and edit this video. And be able to look back at it and be like, I posted it anyway. Or I didn't even post that video. But I was talking about it. And I was moving towards it. <laughs> Alright, I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm talking so much. I'm just like so high. And I feel so good. And I hope that the things I talk about resonate. And I hope that it helps you adjust your perspective. Or, you know, refine it. Or sharpen it. Or, you know. Feel good. Again. Mm-hmm. <laughs>